In this video, we will be running through the plan editor page, as well as the toolbars and menus available to you, and a few different customization options. If you are following the tutorials, at this point you should have already located your campus and you should see the satellite image available in the background. Before getting started, let's familiarise ourselves with the buttons available on this page. In the top left hand corner of the window is the back button to return you to the plan manager. You also have the building name and floor name as the window title. In the top right hand corner there is a help button. Beside that is the settings button. Inside here you can clear your plan to return it to a blank slate. You will see if you have the permission to make edits to the plan, as well as open a summary page where you can view and extract data, photos and information stored on your plan. You have some exporting options as well as a menu for your hotkeys. There is also a preferences menu where you can change some of the settings in the software, such as the units of measurement, the size of the equipment on your screen, change the camera defaults for your device, as well as the touchscreen settings for users with and without a stylus. For touchscreen users, you can also enable a virtual shift key to assist with selecting multiple objects on a plan. There are also some display options and these preferences will vary between users depending on your device, your permissions level, as well as the current version of the software. Back in the settings, you also have the options to adjust the satellite imagery if you want to change satellite image provider, as well as the spatial settings button to view the geotags for your plan. In the main toolbar, you then have your undo and redo buttons, as well as your drawing tools which we will run through in more detail later in the training. On the right side of this menu, you then have the sign preview option, which we will again dive into more detail once we have some signs created. In the toolbar below this, you will then see the name of the current tool you are using, as well as a sub toolbar, providing you with different options depending on the current tool in use. The menu on the right contains the tool settings and inspector panels that work alongside the drawing tools you will be using, as well as a browser panel for viewing your layers and current objects placed in the drawing, the plans panel where you can bring in a site plan or another floor as an underlay to your current floor plan, as well as quick switch to other plans in the campus. There is a camera rotation menu for rotating the screen as well as locking rotation when using a touchscreen device, and finally the snapping settings. In this screen, you will also have the save indicator down the bottom left, which will show you the current save status for your job, as well as a version number, and a scale bar showing the current scale of the plan. Then finally, in the bottom right hand corner, you will have your virtual shift key if you have that enabled, as well as a pink plus button used to add objects to your plan, such as photos, graphics and documents. We will be using this in the next tutorial to upload an image of a floor plan so we can start drawing up our building. For more information on the tools, please see the other tutorials in the Plan Studio Academy.